Hey fellow photographers, Manny from Manny's Photography. Today I want to talk about truly seeing the world around us as photographers. Uh, a subject we don't think about much, it just seems we just kind of take it for granted. Uh, you know, the thought of seeing is something that we just do naturally and uh, from birth on. Uh, you know, if we're blessed with sight when we're born. But behind the simple act of seeing is a profound process that affects us. How we act, how we think, how we learn, how we photograph. Uh, as small children, everything we see in the world is brand new and we want to see everything and we, we're constantly looking and seeing new things and exploring. You know, we notice everything. We notice the, the pebble on the ground, the, the gum wrapper, the, the, the Cheerio on the floor in a doctor's office that my grandson noticed one day and picked it up and ate it before I could stop him. You know, so we notice all those things as small children. As we get older, we begin to become somewhat jaded with the world, and uh, we start learning how to ignore things because things just become mundane and you know just to, they just become boring. So we start ignoring things, and uh, after a while, we begin to ignore more than we see. Um, part of that, part of that desire, that need to ignore things is is for survival. I mean, we need to pay attention to the important things. As, as, a, as a child, we need to teach our children, you know, you can't be looking all around when you're crossing the road. You need to look and see for the cars. It's for survival. But uh, it tends to make, to change us and to turn us into this person who has these preconceived ideas of what's important to notice and what's not. And we begin to not stop noticing the world around us. And uh, we begin to not realize the, the beauty and the wonder of the world around us. Then one day we pick up a camera. Maybe it's, uh, maybe it's when we're a teenager. Maybe it's when we're in our 20s or 30s or, in my case, in my early 50s. And we start looking through that camera and begin to see the world again. We begin to see the wonder of the world again. We begin to see the beauty of the world again. We begin to see the diversity of the world again. I mean, we look around and realize, oh, there's so many things going on around me and I haven't been noticing it. And I think the camera is a wonderful tool and a wonderful thing, and it does that for you. It helps you to see the world. And you see the beauty, you also see the ugliness. We get rid of these preconceived ideas that we have in the world. We get rid of these uh, ideas that there are only certain things are worth photographing. You know, uh, when we first come to photography, we begin, we look at uh, around us with our camera, and we bring these preconceived ideas with us, and we start only photographing the things that we think are considered to be acceptable photographic subjects. We have to retrain ourselves. We have to learn that anything is a photographic subject. Uh, a few years ago, I decided that I would do a project. I called it uh, 365 at 40. And it was my desire to, I was going to photograph with a 40 millimeter lens. And my, at the time, I was shooting with a Canon uh, 5D Mark II. And I was going to shoot a picture every day for a year. And, and post it on Facebook. Well, I made it about 120 days. I didn't realize how hard that would be. But in that process, I took many pictures that uh, I had to begin. At first, it was easy. First, I took a nice picture of my house. Then the next day, I took another picture. And the next day, I took another picture. And after a while, I had to start searching for subjects to take pictures of. And that's when I began to use my imagination. I began to work at it. And I began to realize that there are so many more things that be subjects of photographs than just the, uh, the accepted norm that we think of as things that are photographic subjects. Uh, I began to realize that not every photograph I take has to be something profound or beautiful or artistic, but it can be something that I'm learning from, something that I'm growing with, something that is teaching me how to pho photograph certain types of subjects, how to see light, all those things. So it was, it was a really good project. I would recommend it to anybody. Um, the idea of seeing is, as a photographer, you begin to, to see things other people don't see. When I recently went to Israel with a group of friends, and when I came back, I edited all my images and I put them on my website, and I invited everybody to go on my website and, uh, and look at them and download any they liked and that they could keep for themselves. And I had a lot of comments like, well, you took so many pictures of things that I don't even remember seeing. You know, because they didn't look around. They weren't seeing. They went to a place like that, and they really weren't seeing the place itself. They were preoccupied with 
uh, a lot of other things and a lot of other thoughts. They were preoccupied with uh, if they were going to go shopping or whatever it was that they were doing, and they weren't really seeing the place around them, why they came there. Uh, this is important. It's an important subject. It's important to, as a photographer, for us to to train ourselves to see again, to train ourselves to notice the world around us, to be willing to take photographs of subjects that don't aren't the norm, the normal uh, subject of a photograph. Uh, I recently picked up this book a friend of mine had recommended to me, and he's been a photographer a better part of his life, and he recommended this book to me, and it, it's out of print now, but it's it's really amazing book. I really enjoy it. And I basically made this video to recommend this book to you. And the name of the book is The Art of Seeing, A Creative Pro Approach to Photography. And it's from the Kodak Workshop series. That's how old you know it is, because Kodak's kind of history now. And I would highly recommend this book. It, the book was written to uh, photographers who use film. It was written, uh, the, the last print that came out was in 2000, so this book is 18 years old. Uh, and the first printing was in 1984. So you know, this was written to a, a different group of photographers that we have today, maybe, but not really. These guys had the... Uh, use film and he does talk some about film in the in the in the uh, in this book but mostly what he talks about is is seeing and is uh, creativity and learning to be creative and learning to uh, to grow as a photographer I, I love this idea he there, there's I'm going to read you one quote from it it's called uh, he titled it resistance and failure we all resist change this is natural. Our resistance is a way of affirming our beliefs, where he's accepting change suggests our beliefs were wrong. None of us wants to think we were wrong. Resistance also lets us proceed along familiar paths, and familiarity is comfortable. Uncertain, uncertainty upsets. To change means to meet with uncertainty, but it also means to learn. So, redu so reduce your resistance. In primitive countries, farmers fertilize fields by burning them. Burn your resistance and watch the lush fields grow. You know, it's, it's like we need to learn to change. We need to learn to be able to, to willing to fail as photographers so we can learn, so we can grow. You won't grow unless you fail. So don't be afraid to take chances as a photographer. Don't be afraid to do things that uh, you haven't done before. Don't be afraid to... to uh, Put yourself out there. Uh, get out of your comfort zone. Get out of your comfort zone and do things that make you uncomfortable. Because when you're doing things that are making you uncomfortable, you're growing and you're learning. So anyway, I just wanted to talk about this, for, about, about learning to see again, learning to see around the world around you, learning to notice the world around you, and the wonder of what a camera does for you in this. Uh, really good book. I highly recommend it. Um, you can pick it up on Amazon as a used book. It's out of print. You can't buy it new anymore. But you can pick it up as of now as a used book on Amazon. And that's where I got it. So, well, thanks for, for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please go ahead and give me a, a thumbs up. And uh, if you'd like to see more of my videos, go ahead and subscribe to my channel. Uh, I'm trying to mix it up as much as I can. I, I do some uh, photo photographic tutorials. I, when I buy new gear, I, t I uh, always um, review my gear to help you to see if, if, if you might like what I bought. Um, I'm going to start looking at books. This is a good way to learn photography. I've read a lot of photography books. Uh, some of them good, some of them bad, some of them mediocre. But it does help you. There are so many ways to learn now, including coming on YouTube and watching channel the YouTube channels. There are so many good people on YouTube with this willingness to help others to learn and grow as photographers. Uh, so, thanks very much for watching.